Hello, how are you doing? God bless you. This is Yinka Ojo. Um, again, listen, I want to bring the word of God unto you concerning the month of September 2022. God has given me a word and it's a good word. So let's go into this. The Lord says the month of September 2022 is the month of the supernatural. And this is the word. As I give the word, I will say one or two things. The Lord says, I say to my people that the month of September, the ninth month, is the month of the supernatural for them. As there are nine gifts and nine fruits of my spirit, so shall the manifest presence of my spirit fill the land and fill your life. There shall be an overflow of my glory. Now, let me pause here. God is saying that that word nine is very symbolic and that God says there shall be an overflow of his glory, of his power by his spirit in the month of September. Lift your hands and tell the Lord I receive it in Jesus' name. All right. God continues to say, you will see supernatural intervention as I step into your battles as the man of war and vanquish all your foes. The enemy that has come in one way shall scatter in seven directions. There shall be supernatural victories. Now let's pause there. I sense in my spirit that there are people listening to me that are facing battles, spiritual warfare. And God says, I'm coming as the Jehovah God, the man of war, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of angel armies, and that the enemy that you see today, you will see them no more. And God is saying to me that I should speak into your life. I command in the name of Jesus, who I am and whom I serve, every satanic spiritual force of darkness, uh, waging war against these ones watching. I command you to flee. I command you to stop, cease and desist. Uh, stop in your operations and seizing your maneuvers flee in seven directions now in Jesus name Amen God continues to say welcome supernatural solutions to your needs and to your challenges as I visit and speak directly to the lives of my children this month you will hear my voice within you saying this is the way to go Wow, this is exciting. There are some people here, you will hear the voice of the Lord clearly for the first time. Father God, I ask for clarity for all those who are here listening. The direction of the Lord will lead you to blessings, increase and joy. I command every cloud that has hindered God's communication to you to dissipate. I crush every form of distraction, every form of, of, of dullness of hearing, dullness of perception. Flee in the name of Jesus. So, God says that he's going to give you instructions this month of September. You will hear God personally. Some of you will have divinely granted dreams and visions. Some of you will hear the voice of the Lord. Some of you, inside of your heart, you will just know, just like a thought. The thoughts of God will take over your thoughts and God will give you inspiration. Get a pen, get a jotter, write down in your device the instruction of the Lord. Because in the instruction of the Lord lies your solution and lies your blessing. Then God goes on to say, it shall be a month of supernatural supply. Wow, I love that. A month of supernatural supply. Lift your hands and say, I receive my supernatural supply. September, you are my month of supernatural supply. It shall be a month of supernatural supply. I that multiplied the widow's oil and multiplied the meal of the widow of Zarephath during the season of famine shall surely take care of my own in this day and in this hour. Now, those two instances the Lord brought up happened in the Bible to the prophet Elijah, to the prophet Elijah, see, these were widows. Widows were the poorest. Widows were the most financially disadvantaged time in Bible days. But God intervened. God caused the widow of Zarephath not to die. She and her child, they were blessed because they decided to obey the word of the Lord and they gave to the man of God. And really, it was not that woman that, that sustained or fed Elijah. It was Elijah that ended up feeding her because of the supernatural hand of God upon prophet Elijah. 
Elisha also encountered a widow and she had only a little pot of oil but the supernatural hand of God through the word of prophecy entered into that pot of oil and it multiplied thousands and thousands of times and she sold it and it became mega wealth unto her. That same God is saying he's visiting you now. You may say, I have only, what do I have? Only a little pot of oil, only this little career, just this little business. Or, or you may say, just this little life. I don't have anything else. God says this month of September, his hand supernaturally is coming upon your natural and it's going to lead to your supply, supernatural supply from heaven. Can you say amen? I receive it in Jesus name. So God says uh, in his word that he says, obey my word, give as I have instructed in my word, then expect my faithfulness and supply to come upon you and overtake you. You shall not lack. There's a, there seems to be a, a, a global recession, financial problems, challenges, but God says you shall not lack. September is going to be a month of abundant supply supernaturally God will make a way for you where there's been no way did I hear you say an amen all right God continues to say and I read I am the God that answers by fire wow as I said that I see the fire of God coming down the same God that responded supernaturally in the life of Elijah in Israel I release the fire of God to consume everything that is ungodly everything that's of darkness in your life every work of satan in your life i release the fire of god to burn it into ashes and turn it into debris and sweep it out in the name of jesus into the waterless places amen god says i'm the god that answers by fire i am the god of the supernatural the supernatural supersedes the natural look out for me in my supernatural word and by my spirit please primarily focus your life on the word of God the word of God is supernatural and then invite the Holy Spirit he is the supernatural carrier of the power of the Holy Trinity those two combinations will lead into a September that is glorious for you all right the supernatural supersedes the natural, God says. And I read again. Look out for me in my supernatural word and by my spirit. And you shall see your temporal needs met. And you will experience major turnarounds by my divine power. If you are expecting God for major turnarounds, lift your hand and say after me. Father, I receive major turnarounds in this month of September. In Jesus' name. Amen. And then the Lord says, finally, supernatural joy has come. Woo! Glory to God. Supernatural joy has come, my children. There shall be joy in the city. Wherever you are located, your joy will go all over the city. The Lord says he is releasing citywide supernatural joy for as many as will receive. Lift your hand and say, I receive it in this city. I receive it in this land. Supernatural joy is my portion. Say it in Jesus' name. There shall be joy in the city. You shall laugh throughout September. Oh, glory. By faith, begin to laugh. You shall laugh throughout September, says the Lord Almighty. And that's where the word of the Lord ends. Let me pray for you, Father. Let your word run swiftly through the nations into the life of my hearer my brother my sister your daughter your son father and let there be testimonies in this month of september throughout every day shall be days of breakthrough and testimonies for you in jesus name amen now make sure that you subscribe you like you share this on all other forums of, of the social media world uh, let me hear your comment of amen i receive it until i come your way september is your month of the supernatural blessings.